아프리카 TV 프레이업 스튜디오 라이브 2020 GSL 시즌 2 코드에스 더 커밍 스톰 Welcome back to the GSL Codes. It is time for the winners match and in what has probably been the biggest plot twist in the round of 16, it's Solar versus Dream in the winners match. They're both playing insanely good. Yeah. Good enough to I think defeat the two the two favorites, the two Absolutely. players who historically Absolutely. we'd look at as stronger. I mean, it's Marvel versus Trap in this almost bizarre world of StarCraft. We have Marvel versus Trap and the losers. Yeah. Well, let those two nubbins fight it out. We'll figure that out <laughs> later. Right now, the important match here is Dream yeah. and Solar. And I, I tell uh, you what, the, the I think after watching Solar vs. Maru, you got to consider him favored here I against Dream. I think so. I mean, he looked basically flawless. He looked ten, ten times better than Dark has looked in this tournament. Dream looked very good against Trap, but Trap seemed to uh, have a lot of misplays. I don't know if we have a good measurement of where Dream is in a close match. Anyways, okay. we're about to find out because game one is ready. Let's go to Pillars of Gold. Brave Star Gaming Dream, Jo Jung Hyuk. So they haven't played recently. It's kind of funny. They, uh, oh, offline matches. I was going to say, they play so much online stuff, both these guys. Yeah. Like, they must have played. That is almost impossible because they're always at the top of, like, every online tournament. Uh, yeah, I, I actually, like, um, coming into today, I was kind of like, wow, I hope I actually get to see Dream vs. Maru. That was kind of the match where I'm like, I'm not sure if those two will hit each other, but that would be, I really want to see where Dream's TVT is at compared to Mario right now. And looking at the way that today is going, I'm like, you know what? I think we might get that for the, the final match of the day. Don't want to jump too far ahead, but that could be very cool. Now, already, a little bit interesting. It's a Marine opener rather than going into Reaper. Yeah, but how is he going to damage four Lings and then get away without killing anything? <laughs> Drone scouting Whoa. the corner here. Is he going to expand there? Oh, you know what? He actually, I think, Dude, there's, there's no Reaper, so maybe. He maybe this is going to do it. Tosis. Tosils. Okay, so this is the type of situation where he might win because of this and he might lose because of this. Uh -huh. And after beating Maru straight up in macro games, I want your opinion on whether he should be even doing this against Dream. He should be doing this against Dream. Why? I approve of this. Why not? because he beat Maru straight up in macro games, and this adds volatility to his, his series. I approve it, I approve. I think it'd be winning. Based on what though? Do you have any reason other than just saying well, yes? Well, I mean, you look at- Just okay. yelling yes while you jump down a cliff without a parachute? No, listen to me. <laughs> if, if, if I was Dream, I would be thinking the same thing that you're thinking, Artosis. I'd yeah. be like, oh no, a macro game. I better try to power up effectively. I better try to get greedy because Solar's so good mm -hmm. that there's no way if I play standard or, 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 or safe, I'll beat him. I might have to cut corners. Cutting corners? You know how you lose when you cut corners? Is how? when they chez you. You think it's going to be a cheese? Yes. Okay. I think it's going to be. So yeah, yeah, here's Roach Warren. Right. <laughs> He's going to come in there and rush him. Oh, He's going to do damage. He's going okay. to hurt him. It's gonna hurt him. He's gonna hurt him. Like he hasn't been hurt before. Oh, look at this. This is funny. It looks like this might be a, a weird Hellbat push. Look at the armory. 
Oh, yeah. So the fact that he's going roaches is already really good against that, right? Yeah. Huh. Solar is the greatest thinker of our time. Is he? He is. <laughs> Did you know that the Solars invented aqueducts? Damn. Yeah. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. That's the like how you get water from like up high to down low. Yeah. It's like a man-made waterfall that's the, very slow. The sundial, the flushing toilet. Whoa, how about um, the compass? Not the compass. No, not the compass. Not the compass. No. Let's, let, let's not get ahead of ourselves here, oh, okay, okay. you know? Uh, using uh, bread to make sandwiches. That was also the Solars. Oh my god. I thought that was the Earl of Sandwich. No. Okay, hold on. Here comes the Hellbat push, but he already has Roaches out, which probably should make Dream think, what the hell is going on? There's no third base, and yeah. there's Roaches. Oh, and are there Roaches? Oh, there They're are coming Roaches. In here. There are Roaches! Look at him, he's gonna run. It's time to run! Pick up, go, go, go. Okay, he's bringing back his Liberator. He has to put that above the high ground if he wants it to have any chance of staying yeah, alive. But I think Zerk's fine with that. They can go and take fights up, uh, in other spots. He's making a Banshee, but it's going to take a bit to get out. Yeah. Just started it. Oh, I like that re-siege. Yeah, that was hit cute. Off. Try to inch in there. Okay, uh, there's enough. You, you can actually shoot the ban uh, not the Banshee, the uh, uh, Liberator down. There's ten lings being made behind it, and there is another Ravager coming. He dodges! Nice dodge right there. Very, very quick. This is not over. Solar has a lot of Ravagers. Oh, and in between. Now, if the Liberator tries to, to, to see job, it can be shot down by the Ravagers. Yeah, he, he's trying to wait for uh, Biles to come out. Yeah, it's not going to happen. Here we go! Da -da -da -da. Damn. That was like a game of chicken, except he hit his Ravager with his Biles there. OK, we're at the point where the wall is going to be torn down. And that's when the Lings can come in. And that's when this becomes oh, uh, fatal man. damage. Yeah, I think you're right about wow. that. Wow. Lings are going to get on top of absolutely everything. Solar just crushing it with strategic brilliance. Yeah. A completely unexpected strategy here. You know, it, it, he played into his greatness in macro by coming in here with a great cheese as well. He's and playing he, not just the player, he's playing the group. And he's playing everybody else trying to figure out how to stop him. And you know what else? Like. He, he caught the strategy Dream brought. You're right, like Dream was trying to play an aggressive strategy aimed to hurt somebody who was trying to play a regular macro game. Yes. Uh, he gets absolutely stomped by Solar in game one. That was beautiful. Solar is the greatest human of all time. The Solars also learned that uh, cooking food, uh, they, they were the first to cook. That's why their fire. brains are bigger. That's why their brains are bigger, because yeah. they could eat meat, yeah. which would allow them to grow larger brains. And then the Solars learned how to use tools, OK? Like a simple uh, mouse, a stick, <laughs> and, and, and a rock, uh, you know, to fish. Yeah. That became a mouse. <laughs> yeah, the rock yeah. became the mouse. The rock became the mouse. The stick the keyboard. Yes, exactly. Damn. Thanks, Solar. And that's why there aren't any more dreams anymore. Solars ate them all up. Wow. The, the dream, last of his that kind. That game, the dream looked like the dodo, OK? <laughs> a flightless bird. Yeah. But not a penguin. Not Penguins a penguin. get around just they fine. They can swim, Artosis. And they can slide down ice on their bellies. That's right. And they're great in movies, too. So they yeah. make great actors. Yeah. We're going to go to Death Aura. Death Aura. All right, let's see if Solar has something else planned. I think he'll fall back into a more regular game here. You don't want to. You don't want to be too, too crazy, too rabid. You say that. I don't know. I think you're probably right, but Solar is bringing out the best Zerk play I've seen, man. Game two is loaded up. Solar vs. Stream continues on. Bet if he took those glasses off, he would lose. You sure? Well, he'd be stupid looking, right? People glasses look smart. That's true. Also, he probably couldn't see the screen very well. That's true. That would that would make it harder.
So, we go into this game now. I don't, I don't know what to expect from Solar. I mean, that was a really smart play there. I think it was also the build Dream opened with was also kind of countered by it. But I, especially just like his little tactics, like once he got the Liberator to unsiege, mm -hmm. he never let it siege up again. Well, that was, was like they were, they were waiting for each other. Yeah. Like, without the Biles, that's a lot more damage into your battle, right? But yeah. as soon as the Biles go off, he can siege the Liberator. Right. So he just waited and waited and waited and then nailed it as soon as he sieged. So really some great play. You see that meta evolving with how to micro units in battles like this. Really just great games tonight. Great play all over the place. Even the bashes are good. Yeah. Well, I, I think... If I had to guess, I think it's going to be a macro game here. I think, I think so. you win with that, and Solar says, if I can take two macro games off Morrow, I can do it to Dream. Well, that's what I at was At least saying. one of them, you know, at least one. But you don't know Artosis. I mean, you're kind of like a... You're like a human trying to talk about, like, what aliens know right now, okay? Yeah, yeah. What? <laughs> you know. <laughs> you've been talking you're about like, what aliens... You're like, here's what the Area 51 aliens want. It's like, we have no idea. <laughs> we have no idea, okay? Well, well, that that is true. That is true. I mean, remember what happened in Independence Day, where they everybody's like, "Oh, let's go greet the aliens," and it's like they don't care. They're gonna use their super laser nukes and destroy everything. <laughs> we didn't get to find out what the aliens wanted until you know they got control of the president, and the president could read their thoughts, or they injected their thoughts into him. Yeah, he's like, they go what from planet they? to planet. Oh yeah, using up all natural resources. I'm like, well, this is just... I, it's we, like we, us in the future, yeah, honestly. Yeah, exactly. I'm like, sounds like some bad aliens. We should take them out. <laughs> Thing is, we would do the same. Yeah. Yeah. Just throwing that out there. Just we aren't, like, sophisticated enough yet, and we haven't destroyed the whole Earth yet. So. Not, not yet. We're getting there, though. Don't worry. Yeah, one day. Yeah. But that is, that is kind of funny. Yeah. We'll be the alien bad guys one day. Imagine there's like actual alien looking things. They have movies and they have like humanoid looking things <laughs> invading them and that's right. Taking their taking their stuff. These are aliens that, 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 that don't have the ability to enjoy sounds, so their our music is what just to, you know we use to battle them. Oh yeah. Yeah. And you know what? When the humans get there, it's like what they're afraid of isn't us stealing their land, but all these human tourists going down and taking selfies with them and they hate that. They hate that so like, no! much. Oh we're ruined. <laughs> <laughs> They don't show up looking good on our Instagram filters. <laughs> yeah. Uh. All right, so it looks like a BC rush here. But with Overlord speed done, going to be able to scout that well ahead of time. Dream's shown a pretty wide range of different plays here. Good Overlord scout. Did Solar likes to do quite a bit, actually. Yeah, he didn't see the fusion core yet, so there is, you know, there's a little bit of a question as to what's going on. He didn't spot what he was looking for. No, he's sending a second Overlord now. So he will be able to scout it, but a little bit later. These Marines kind of have to stay on top of this one. Fight the enemy you know, right? And that's this Overlord right here. He wants to get in so badly. Second Overlord here, I like this. I Should have lowered the Marines in the other direction. Okay, he sees the third command. Are you kidding me? There it is. Oh, there it is. Okay. Damn. It's a whole mini game getting this I know, shot right? off. Roach Warren finishes. Drones being transferred here. Ooh. I like that Dream's going mech here, Tasteless. Yeah, this is pretty cool. The the uh, Solar Plague's bio was just so hard, right? Yeah. Let's they, see like, how he does against mech. I mean, mech takes a little bit longer to kind of start up. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's good or bad for someone like Solar. I think that um, Bio can be a little bit harder to play against, to be honest. Like, if you have a player who's really good at being active, I mean, I they can always try right, to fight yeah. you. Yeah, yeah. I'm not trying to say, like, one is more skilled. I just think that, like, well, I think there's more opportunities more to, skilled. I think that there's more opportunity to do damage, too. Yeah, and, yeah, and, yeah. And look for fights, so. I think there more can go wrong and more can go right with Bio in a yeah, lot of ways. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. The edges are kind of hard on a, a mech build. Yeah. There's not much you can do early. Yeah. It's hard to kind of cheat and eke your way into a lead, but if you get it set up right, then it's really hard mm -hmm. to fight. 
You're making more complicated unit comps and stuff. Right. They take longer to, to be utilized on a map. But then when they get there, they do a lot of damage. Yeah. Okay, Hellion's roaming around a bit. The BC is flying across the map right now. Might be a good time to utilize that BC. Okay, BC coming up, already taking some shots there. I like the small roach counter attack. Yeah, that's really annoying. He actually well, the, jumps home to deal with it. goes home. And look at this, he can split these roaches up and hit different locations, and there's just no real momentum here for... Uh, yeah. Look at well, that, just targeting down the weaker Hellions. Kind of weird, almost, the way that he's playing it. Uh, I like what Solar's up to, just spending small amounts of roaches, but, it, like, it's a BC opening. He hasn't lost a single drone. Yeah, the second BC's out, and the third one's on the way. And Solar's up at about 70 drones right now, so we might see the Corruptor Roach Flood. Uh, oh, because, that could be. Yeah, basically. Oh, you nailed it, too. Look, it's just started. Yeah, yeah. Th this is a. I think that this is a really interesting way to deal with uh, BC into mech because you actually don't have good anti air, and if you have good anti air, you don't have good anti ground. Yeah, so you're kind of hitting them with both things. The Corruptors will force BCs off, and you'll run through everything else. Yeah, Zerk's basically going to win a fight somewhere. Yeah, look at this 12 Corruptors. Those things not, but it seems like it's almost more important the Corruptors win the air fight. Then everything kind of falls apart here. Uh, you can force the BCs to jump away real quick with the Corruptors. Yeah. And then they aren't helping against the Roaches, and it's like, well, you spent so much money on BCs at this point. Okay, here we go. Corruptors coming in. Oh, they're going to be inside this little uh, speed-up zone. So you're making them jump right away. Immediately moving forward, though. So he's going to have to repair. You see uh, immediately a turret going up. I think there might be enough SCVs underneath, especially with the Widow Mines. Yeah, pretty well covered here. Four bases, though, for Zerg. I like how Dream has turtled this. Yeah. The, I think the Hellbats are really, really key here this for is, tanking damage. This is exactly what he needs to do. He also has enough to cover its third. He's covering the entrance of his natural. Yeah. It's not like there's a Nidus Worm that's being made here that could uh, mm -hmm. you know, change the positioning of this game. And you know what? The mines, I think, are just enough that Solar can't pull the trigger here. And I think this is a really good example of why Dream is such a great player. He's really handled this wonky Unicom pretty well. Yeah, yeah. And this is something that evolved while he was gone, by the way, this exact meta. This is, like, from about a year ago. This, I love this. this. Just going right on top of these uh, structures, this forces a fight. Oh, my gosh. The Cyclone's timed out perfectly here. Yeah, going to have to pull those out. Should Zerk just back off here and take a fifth and He wait? can't do anything. Yeah. He I absolutely can't do anything. Seems like Terran is impregnable right now. And look at this. He's adding five facts, continuing upgrades as well. Solar just needs to take bases. Like Solar needs to get into everything, you know? And how are we going to see Solar actually play against this? Like, what? It, what is the comp he wants to go for? Okay, he's adding in uh, Infestors. This is kind of the, the question that, that we're looking towards. It's like, are you going to go Infestors? Are you going to try Swarm Host play? It feels a bit late for Swarm Host play. I don't really like that option that much. Infestors, though, are all right. Guns down that uh, Corruptor. I think, uh, right now, Solar needs to be careful how much he's out on the map here. But I guess there's a high enough Corruptor count that you really you can't stay out here for too long. Now, keep in mind, yeah. BCs are usually used early on to do a lot of damage and really inhibit the Zerg from growing. It never really got to happen here. No, it never so, did. Although we see this unit comp that was pretty cool made by Solar, and it didn't really do that much, mm -hmm. Terran was zoned out of the strategy that he wanted to do. That's that's true. He didn't really have the early game he wanted, yeah. and then Solar didn't have the mid game he wanted. And, and we're already seeing that these battle cruisers are not really that good mm -hmm. flying around the map. Like they basically shoot stuff and then jump away. Mm -hmm. So I, I actually think Solar, as we're getting to the climax here of players maxing out, uh, it seems to me that actually Solar is going to be have a better army. Would you agree with this? Mm. Or do you think like, I like the add of the Infestors. Um, I feel like the, the mech is just going to scale a bit better, and you're going to have to get some good moves in. Like, huh. Yeah, like, I, I like the, the, the Terran army a little bit more right now, basically.
good defense here from Solar. This creep spread looking fantastic. Little group of battle mechs still running around. Oh, Ooh. don't lose those. That was a really good split off. I wonder if he scanned to see that. Because oh, you're so actually you're looking to fungal the battle mech, then run Blink Bane into it or whatever. Yeah, it looks like we're going to have at least two. No. Two infestors left. I thought it was going to be know, two dead. He killed one and got all the energy off all three. Yeah, he's going to so have to make some good. more before he has anything. But we still have a large number of Banes. Looks like he's getting ready, by the way, for Broodlords. Yeah, well, I think he wants to have the Broodlords pair with the Banes and start to really move through because, you know, if you have Banelings underneath the Broodlords, you can't really get underneath the Broodlords and fight. Terran doesn't have a great air army. Yeah, he's actually adding quite a few Thors now to help deal with that. But Infestors can be a good counter against Thors as well. Just you have to get a certain number of them. It's, it's a hard unit comp to play nowadays because the Infestor did get nerfed, the Broodlord did get nerfed. Thors actually can fight them now. By the way, no, no, uh, oh, never mind. I was like, does he not have banning speed? No, he does. Okay. More shots fired over here. Terran is also getting to the point where they have like a lot of bases, which makes Mech very scary. Mm -hmm. Um, but also when you see Zerg fighting a, a mecking Terran player, like you gotta be, you gotta be careful. Like let's say a lot of the tanks are killed off. It's gonna be a long time before you have that many tanks. It's very different from Marine Marauder tank where you, our armies are chunked off. They're all remade at about the same pace here. Yeah. I, how do you engage this right I, now? I actually don't know. It's, he has a lot of balance. Is this I just- you need a lot of blinding. Or, well, a lot of he has like clouds, one viper only. Yeah, though. but he can't do that. Okay. Ah. Here we go. Oh, okay, so, I like this. Well, he steals some, but is that well timed? Because they die so quickly there. Okay, some good blinding clouds do end up going off. Some vials being thrown down as well there. Okay, so he's chunked off a decent amount. Now Terrence not finished yet. Terrence gonna move in here. The tank count is much lower though. Zerg had banked up quite a bit. Barely dodging those vials there, but I, I, I actually think this might be enough muscle to just. Well, that base is base. definitely yeah. dead. But you know, there's still a chance for Terran to overextend here. Yeah, yeah. If he loses all those units, I mean, that's that is a bit painful. He doesn't have a big tank. Solar might be able to run his army around this and stop reinforcements, and then you know, wait a couple rounds and go kill it. You know, we never had a counterattack here from Solar either. Worth pointing out. Yeah, that's true. Good spread here from Dream. Okay, so he's starting to get reinforcements in there too, so that makes it a lot harder. You know, these armies don't move very quickly, the mech armies, so it's definitely giving Zerg enough time. It's one of the one of the um, disadvantages of going mech. It's not like Stip Marines, where when you take a, a win in a fight, you can really push in and do even more damage. Great blinding clouds on the Thors. Oh and my God. this is just going to get cleaned up, right? Well, like, he's I mean, trying to kill everything with Bane Links at this point. Yeah, well, he does He's trying kill. to pull a Nest T here. Yeah. And it seems like it just about works. <laughs> this is a weird moment. There's like two mules, a Cyclone, and a tank here. <laughs> with Corruptors and one Ravager. Yeah. My God, almost no units left over after that. Now that Where was... do we stand after all that? <laughs> well, let's also point out that there's a uh, Broodlord's about to come out here. There's eight. God, he saved all the BCs. Okay, so the Broodlord's coming out. He killed every Thor. Yeah. The three BCs are still alive, and yes. a lot of Cyclones are being made, but Ling Bane can deal with Cyclones. Yeah, it seems like there might be some room for counterplay here from Solar. The problem, though, is, you know, Broodlord's are kind of crappy at counterattacking. Yeah. They do, they, you know, they are this, these units where it's like, aha, now what will you do? Brood Lord player, and the other guy goes, not ever engage these units. Yeah. You know, you can always- Or when I do, they're all dead. Yeah. And so even though the Zerg gets a solution with the Brood Lords, they also can oftentimes find out that there's a problem along with this too. Mm -hmm. You know, their movement is limited. Uh, they do have kind of a death ball -y thing going on. If there's an attack coming across the map, it's going to be very slow. And Terran, with the, as you can see here with the Cyclones and the Hellions, there is room for a counterattack as well. Mm. Okay, so compositionally speaking here, it's Ling Bane Infester Broodlord. That should do really well against Battle Mech, right? Like, 
Taint Thor would do better against this type of composition, I think. Mm. Huh. Okay. Like, I can't imagine him getting lock-ons on on the Broodlords. It's, like, really hard. You have to turn off the auto-cast, obviously. But I, I think it's plays like this that, that Dream's looking for, right? The Broodlords mm. are never going to get here in time. And if they were to make their make their way over here, they just leave again. You know. Where are the Broods right now? I actually don't he know. Needs I, to do I think, something I think with it's them. close to the center and to the lower right. I don't think that they're going to gain value right now, you know? Just sitting there with them? Yeah. This is not the old Broodlord where you just, you're like, oh, now I have 15 of them. Now you're really dead. It's like, well. Okay, that was just yeah. <laughs> an area that should not have been given any attention to by the Terran. You know what? He just scanned the Broods. That might be the first time he saw them. Maybe he was trading supply or something, because now he's just going Thor Viking. I think okay. you're right. Well, let's see how this engagement goes. Okay, uh, is there enough anti-air for the Zerg here? Because it looks like the ground army is going to get wiped here. Well, he actually steals oh, the BCs, oh, oh. so yeah, absolutely. Oh Solar. my god. Absolute beast here. Well, eventually it does wear off, and the BCs are still here. There's no more Broodlords, by the way. They're literally all gone. I think that's okay. I think you might be right. Yeah, like I I think it's okay that they're, I can't believe all three BCs I made know. it out. This is, these three BCs, the hell. So what does Zerg want to do now? Okay, gosh, I guess they want to go the same back. thing, yeah, tasteless. tasteless. There's only one way to go. <laughs> yeah, I guess. This game is really, this, it feels weird. It's one of the the stranger uh, mech for Zerg. Well, games. we don't get to cast these kind of Unicomps fighting. It looks like we're in a no, different iteration much. of StarCraft. Right a lot of now. times, a lot of times it gets decided before we get to situations like this. That looks scary to engage. Looks like nothing you can do is right attacking that. <laughs> Poking with fruits might be the right choice. Okay. I'm really scratching my head this game. This is, uh, I'm it's trying hard. to figure out where we go from here. We have this uh, funny thing going on where there's this mounting air pressure on both sides. Um, you know, we have a lot of BCs. We have tons of corruptors being made. There are investors coming in here. It seems like the math gets pretty fuzzy if the investors manage to uh, you know, mind control one of these other units. Neural yeah. Parasite them because there's a lot of big heavy hitter damage dealing units here. Yeah, and they tank a lot too if you attack yeah. them. Yeah. And then so, you're attacking your own unit basically. Yeah, like and we saw a Solar try to do this earlier where he knurled like three Thors. It wasn't executed perfectly. It's hard for the Zerg to do this by the way. There's so many spells that have to be cast right away. That's annoying. This it's two a lot of attack. It's like the most value ever. Um, yeah, they got 12 times their worth there. Yeah. Now, also worth noting here is that both players have expanded towards the upper right. And so it's almost like, you know, a fight is going to be forced. In fact, I think that's going to yeah. happen right now. The investors need to get up here. Now, they're not very fast if they're burrowed, but let's see what happens. Okay, the Vikings coming, coming up and actually getting some real damage in on there. Yeah, this is a lot. Now, Solar needs to do something here. The hatchery goes down. Solar well, decided it was too dangerous okay. to try to really take a fight. There is a link counter attack. He's dealing with the Vikings at the moment. It looks like he's going to actually just try to get out of here. Oh, that was a weird moment. Ooh. That he was... just lost like six of his eight investors for yeah. free. They didn't do anything. Uh, these links are still. Continuing to do damage, Terran can't really remake that much because the supply is not dropping on this side of the map. Okay, right. here we go. Another mind control comes out here, and well, the Thors are going to town. Seems like there's enough broodlings on the ground. Oh wait, I think I spoke too soon. There's enough broodlords. Yeah, that's it. GG Dream did it. What a what a weird game. What a, yeah, I think, that was. Uh, I will say that was one of the more challenging games to cast. Yeah, it's it's hard to know exactly how some of these battles are going to go. There's a lot of it is hinged on what are the infestors going to end up doing, right? And like how quickly are they going to die? Because we saw many times the infestors start slinging spells, they start knurling, and then 
Scan comes down, you know, he sees the rest of the investors coming, starts picking them off. Yeah. And then the value just isn't there for them anymore. Very, Wait. very tough game, I think, on both sides. I don't think we're going to see Solar mess with that unit cop. I think if I had to bet, it would be more Muta, Ling, Bane. Against I think Mech that, as well? Well, I don't know if Dream's going to keep meching. I, I don't know. Oh, yeah, it's that, Golden Wall. You're probably right. You probably won't mech here. Yeah, I think you can't mech on that map. I've never seen anyone mech here. Well, I think it's too hard to control two platforms and mech. I think if they mech, you expand away from them, get ahead, win there. Um, yeah, I mean, I still think Solar can take this, but Dream, man, he's looking better than ever. Uh, game three's loaded up. The winner goes on to the round of eight. Let's do this. Now, and by the way, I think this is very possible, but man, if Dream wins here, yeah, what I know, a complete, uh, just total crazy well, result I think that is. I mean, that's Dream just like, winning would be a complete shift in the landscape because we already had DRG crush, and then yeah. if Dream does as well, and Parting's already crushing, and it's yeah. like. At that point, you know, we go through these phases where I'm afraid of people going in the army because I'm like, oh, if we lose top players, it's going to erode the league, right? Because it's like, well, this guy won GSL because the three other guys weren't here. Right. Right. And that was a fear in StarCraft 1 for a long time, like what happens when Flash goes to the military? But now it's like, well, we have so many top players back. And now with StarCraft 2, we're having the same thing where it's like, well, yeah, we're starting to lose some of the really good guys, but Parting, DRG, Dream, these other guys are like, Oh, no, we're just as good or better than, you know, these other top yeah. guys, so. Yeah, nothing to worry about here with the future of this game. Yeah. So, yeah, I think Terran is, just by circumstance of the map, uh, forced into bio play here. Uh, I feel like Solar is still slightly favored here. Yes. And I'm judging that because he was able to take on Morrow. Absolutely. That's a good enough thing I mean, for me. If you could beat Morrow, if you beat Morrow's bio, he is the gold standard of Terran bio. Yes, he Him is. And innovation. Every every Zerg says so. Yeah. yeah. And I actually I think that he's generally better than innovation at it, but innovation's in great shape lately too. Yeah, he's a phenomenal player too. Oh no. It's a sign. Yeah, had a head It's like jerk we drew there. the tarot card, the skeleton, and the cloak. <laughs> Your you, future is not good. You know about tarot cards? Uh, do I know? I mean, I'm like I, you, you play with them and stuff, Tasteless, because you I know play the skeleton with them. and I the try cloak. To, I try to figure my future out. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I'm really into tarot cards. You know? Yeah. Oh, no, I can tell. <laughs> yeah. You knew all about that skeleton with the That's cloak. That's right. Uh oh, you've drawn the moon card. <laughs> Now, what exactly does Dream want to do here? Is there anything special that he's got in store for us? He did lose that Reaper, which is an omen. It's a bad sign. It's not a good thing. It's like a black cat walking by you. Yeah. It's like walking under a ladder. Well, the Reaper dance is really a litmus test for both players. It's just a skill check, you know? Yeah. Fortunately, he failed that one. Roach Warren coming down right now. Mm -hmm. Six slings are being made. Link speed almost done. Sometimes now. Zergs do with these aggro builds. I don't think it's going to happen here, but let's just keep our minds open. Yeah, I wonder. I would be really shocked if, if uh, Solar did it here. Just because I think Solar so easily wins in a, in a powering game. There's six. Six. Now six. Roaches. This isn't. Okay, seven. Seven. That's a lucky number. Let's see if he makes more than that. Eight. Oh, Magic this Eight is... Ball. Oh, <laughs> this is a lot of roaches Links. now. Okay, yeah, this dun, is dun, 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 dun. this is a pretty dedicated attack. Now, unfortunately for Solar, there is Six a Banshee on the way. The number of sides on a die. <laughs> Two drones. 
A flip of a coin. <laughs> one overlord making the one coin that's the flip. The loneliest number. <laughs> Banshee about to come out. No bunker yet. It just started. Aww. And the Ravagers are coming here as well. I don't think he's going to break him. No, I think this won't do much of anything. He actually hit the uh, Banshee pretty well. The Ling went up the ramp and scouted it. When he sees the Banshee, that's going to be a little bit painful. Yeah, I think this is the situation where you pull your SCBs and you go up the ramp. Oh, I, the bunker might finish, actually, Yeah, the though. bunker is going to finish. Now, okay, it's going to okay. go down. It'll only be up for a matter of seconds, yeah. but... Never mind, you do that so well. Without there's, the there's bunker enough. there, you might have to run, but that two, was... Two Ebays instantly thrown down. Yeah. Get out of my face, you Zerg scum. Dude, yeah, he held that with flying colors. He that held was... it. He bench-pressed that. That came on top of him, and he pecks Balls Jad. He went... Using perfect form. Yeah. He ripped that in half like it was a napkin, but it was actually a phone book. It was a phone book, Artosis. Yeah. Damn. Dream. He's good, man. Underestimated. Yeah. He's not even tired. Now he's now he's throwing a medicine ball back and forth while he does sit-ups. <laughs> he's jacked. Absolutely jacked. Yeah. He's also a, a member of Mensa and a chess GM. <laughs> That's right, yes. Handsome Terran play. Yeah, he's looking very good. Um He's going to start working out with battle ropes next. Oh, my God. Hmm. All right, so he's taking the gold base. We don't see that as often from Terran. Yeah, but I think this is a moment where you absolutely take the gold base. You've won that fight. Well, I guess for the third, we do see them take it sometimes, right? And then normally Zerg is, like, trying to run Ling's But we've also seen them take, thing. take, you know, not take it. Yeah, but, that's true. Um, I think in this case, you win that fight, you take the advantage. Yeah, I mean, he's, yeah. he's one of those ripped guys on Venice Beach right now, mm -hmm. doing a headstand. Roided up like crazy. But natural. But natural, too. Yeah. <laughs> People think he's roided up, but he just really no, he's just healthy. that's who he is. Yeah, he's, he's eating a lot of chicken genetics. breast and broccoli, okay? Don't yeah. be jealous. Yeah. Dude, okay. He is... Look at look at the stats here, right? Yeah. His 1-1's one going to be finishing around the time 1-1 one -one starts for his opponent. Like, he's already got his gold base up. Oh, the queen! He's only down six workers with a gold base. Dream is in ridiculously good shape here. But how do you kill what cannot die? With Stim Marines. The DPS is pretty good, I heard. I like the tank placement. He's yeah. not, not, not too ambitious. He's not going to overextend. The first mute has started. But we're going to need to see a lot more mutas before they can have any impact in this fight. Uh, there are lings going around to a counterattack. I don't know that this is going to be that effective. The tank has been repositioned here so that if they, uh, when the, the creep dissipates enough, the Terrans can then use this. The tank is covered again inside the natural. Mm. Oh, yes, he's got this perfect area to retreat yeah. up into as well. Queen goes down. Dude, he is just massacring here. He's being so efficient. Counterattack. Let's just never find out what happened over there. Okay, he picked up. Got away. Yeah, he's one more tank is coming here. It's a, there it is. It's unloaded now. Oh man, he's gonna oh. bring this one down lower. Oh my God, GG what? Dream this is the, the craziest episode of Game Dude. of Thrones I've ever seen. He's so good right now. It's ridiculous. This is a new era, man. Yeah, the era of DRG, the era of Dream, the era of Parting. Old names back. Risen from the dead. Bell bottom jeans are in. We're from a different era now. My God. Let's all These stop old wearing fogies shoes. like Maru and Solar, like they can't keep up anymore. Yeah. They're getting too old. Not with their arthritis. Yeah. Those guys, retire. they got bad hips. <laughs> okay, they're gonna throw it out playing the game. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna go to an interview with Dream, who got out first. How crazy is that? Andy will translate, and it looks like that should be ready right now. 
이번 시즌은 분필 선수들의 저력이 일어나고 있는데요. 오늘 시즌 1위 진출자 브레이브 스타 게임인 조중혁 선수 만나보겠습니다. 축하드립니다. 감사합니다. 네. 자, 4년 만이란 얘기 참 자주 하게 되는데요. 4년 만에 8강 진출 소감 어떠신가요? 어, 4년 만인 건 몰랐는데 well, I didn't know it's been 4 years already, but it really feels good. 1등으로 올라가서 좋은 것 같아요. And I think it feels 네, better because I moved on as the first place. 예상하셨나요? And did you expect yourself to move on as the first place? 어, 실력에는 자신 있었는데 well, I, mean, I was confident with my skills. 뭔가 요새 손목도 좀 아프고 But my wrist um, started hurting recently. 뭔가 연습량이 연습을 많이 하면 힘들더라고요. And if I practice too much, it, um, you know, it burns me. So I knew that as long as, 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 long as my condition was good, I would move out. 오늘 승자전 2 세트 메카닉으로 밀어. And their winners uh, match in the second set. 프로토즈전에서도 you went on with the mechanic. 유령을 확보하면서 장기전을 준비하시기도 했는데요. 이처럼 타이밍도 잘 잡으시지만 so you know, 장기전을 잘 하시고 또 좋아한다는 비서도 받았어요. And it feels like you r e a l And your skill shine when it comes to the late game. 장기전 원래 테란이 예전에는 초중반이 좋았는데 I mean like Terran used to be really, really good in the early um, early phase of the game but now it seems like it's better in the late game 어, 모르겠어요 그냥 오늘은 손 가는 대로 했는데 yeah, I don't know you know I just play with an empty mind today 그 전에 어, 연습 사기 때 언급하시기도 했던 강민수 선수를 이기셨잖아요 you know, Before you mentioned 어, that you got screen baited by Solar in the past So do you feel especially happy because you beat Solar today? 뭔가... It definitely feels like revenge against him for screen baiting me. And I feel like I was lucky because I didn't have to face Maru in the process. You know, um, my Reaper got caught in the end, and I, the, I went for the Banshee, and I think um, luck was definitely the most important today. I mean, with your skills I'm shown today, I think you can play a, um, really good in the later, game, later matches. And you know, the Group D members are stacked. There's um, Pure, and there's Zest. And there's Fence. And there's Rob. And that group is stacked. So any player you want to meet. <laughs> so, I mean, all the four players are so formidable. I don't want to meet any of them. But I do want to play a TBZ if possible. So I think I'd rather play against Rob. As for Cure, I hope he gets dropped out. I mean, like, in my opinion, he's the best Terran right now. Not TY? I mean, he was good. But in my opinion, like pure skill wise, I think it's Cure at the top, and maybe after um, Maru. So T Y is probably three, right? Number three, right? Oh, number four actually. Number three is innovation. And yes, it's T Y in the fourth place. So before you go, anything you want to say? So I want to thank all the players that helped me practice. So parting. You know, I'm, I'm really I'm happy to be the best for us out there. So I'm going to try my best. Once again, congratulations on moving on to, as the first place. Thank you. They should have taken Dream more seriously. This is a guy who is, I think, going to go a really, really long way. I mean, if, if you get out of this group first, you can actually win this tournament. Yeah. You can absolutely win this level. tournament. I mean, this is – clearly he's skilled enough uh, to do it, but the players that – the other three players are so good, are so phenomenally accomplished in StarCraft too. Yeah. And the way Dream played, it, it looked incredible. Now I don't know it, – it's either going to be – the three players we thought were the best, one of them's going to get eliminated, then another one – Yeah. Who gets out? Who do we even want guys? to have move on? I think Solar's going to move on. You think he can keep beating Maru? I think Maru's going to go right. back against him. We've got a short break. We come back. The elimination match. Do not go away.